Well, Heathcliff, do you think I'd do another video here, bub? I got Heathcliff over here looking at me going, Mom, you don't have to be in front of this computer. Right? That's what you're telling me. And that disapproving look. But I am. So, here's what we're going to do. I've got a magazine here, Heathcliff. And I'm going to put the pages right in front of you. And they can't see us anyway, so what difference does it make? And we're going to do this vid video together. Um, it's called Farm and Ranch Living, the Families Who Love the Land. Sleigh bells ring, jingle all the way to the farm for the reindeer and the Christmas season, this holiday season. It's the December, January 2022 issue. I've got lots of pages marked, and before we start it, Heathcliff, I think it's only fair that we share the news, don't you? Well, this Sunday, we're doing the family dinner, yes, but then we're coming back from the family dinner. I've made appointments for all of our animals to get their pictures with Santa at PetSmart. And this year, if you haven't got your reservations made, you got to make reservations on the site. Otherwise, you don't get your picture with Santa Claus. And these boys have been so good. It's their first Christmas. Uh, Peanut has seen Santa before. Uh, but you know what? It's time for a little fun, a little festivities. I just now tonight put the first decoration in the house in the bathroom, um, I took, a well, we have other decorations, you know, we have the tree, but, uh, I mean, I hadn't really got any festive spirit this year, but I decided when we were at Dollar Tree tonight, it's time to replace a few things, and I had nothing to put in the bathroom, so I got four new flowers to put in the bathroom, and then decided, you know what, some of my signs broke outside, so I got four new signs to put outdoors on Thursday, provided I can get through this allergy problem, but right now, I'm turning the pages in this magazine so everybody can stop saying, how long is she going to make us wait? Okay, Love and the Life. These are seasonal photos and stories from the readers. Three's company. We live on a farm met and enjoy taking walks on our long country lane. Our cat accompanies my children just about everywhere they go. And even after this big storm dropped 12 inches of snow. Darling Skrunk from Fleetwood, Pennsylvania. I can't believe they let that cat out in that snow, Heathcliff. How awful. Winter Storm Watch. When a cold front came through, bringing big lazy snowflakes, I went out to close the barn doors. I arrived. The ooze poked their head out, seemingly to check the weather. While a lamb snuck a peek to Erica Miller from Monroeville, Ohio. We can do it. Every year we cut down our own Christmas tree at the nearby Christmas farm. This time we got a second one for the kids. That we love seeing them work together, determined to haul their own tree up on the hill of their own. Symphony Scarin broke from Marshfield, Wisconsin. A snowy surprise. My daughter smashed a snowball in her brother's face just before I snapped this photo. He was a bit shocked at this, and this was his first snow, but the, he took it with a like a champ. Shane Cobb from Blairsville, Georgia. A warm hello on a cold day. Our grandson Brody wa wandered over to chat with our miniature donkey, Buck, during a snowstorm. That's Karen and Mark Steiner from Orville, Ohio. Hang help. My husband and I live on a cattle ranch and dry land wheat farm, and my sister-in-law, Anna McCorkle, took this sweet photo of our daughter, quote-unquote, working with her dad, Jessica Horde from Davenport, Washington. Okay. Whoopsie. Heathcliff, where are you going, bubby? He's falling off my lap. Okay. Oh, a sticky sweet Christmas tradition. Now, this one really stuck out at me because I like the recipe and I like the tradition. So, we're going to share that with you. Farm table. The holiday breakfast is a perfect time to indulge. Jane Ham from Rapid City, South Dakota. The house was quiet. The snow would just begin to accumulate on the driveway and the tops of the fence posts. There was no wind to speak of, and that's unusual in this area this time of year. All was peaceful for the time being, and my family would be arriving late that night. We don't worry a little more when our families are traveling home for the holidays. Well, we visualize and pray for their safe arrival. Then comes the chaotic, blessed homecoming. Mittens, coats, snowy boots, luggage, gifts, children, pets, hugs, and laughter. We're happy to see our daughters and sons smiling with pride in their children's, directing our attention to how this one's grown and how long that hair's gotten, and the baby, the baby's always walking already. 
We watch our phone videos of the grandchildren football game, another volleyball spike. We listen to the Christmas concert music recorded just for us. The miles melt away, and these Christmas reunions embody the thrill of the season. Thankful and exhausted, we get the kids to their pajamas, usher them to bed for a good night's sleep. All week leading up to this visit, I've been busy planning the meals, snacks that would satisfy our family and still provide nutrition and help us watch our carbs and calories. But there's this one meal, the traditional Christmas morning breakfast for which we always indulge our cravings. The smell of warm caramel rolls bacon in the oven creates memories in this ranch kitchen and we like to pair ours with scrambled eggs, bacon and sausage, juice and fresh fruit and, fruit and yogurt. This makes for a brunch that will sustain the entire family until we serve Christmas dinner. We say grace and we just enjoy. Christmas walnut sticky bun buns. The sweet honey walnut topping and tender texture makes these sticky rolls a surefire crowd pleaser. Debbie Brockner from Rocky Mount, Missouri. The prep time is one hour plus rise and your bake time is 30 minutes. And then you make two dozen and two packages, which is one fourth ounce each of one fourth ounces each of active dry yeast. One and one half cups warm water, which is 110 to 115 degrees. One cup of mashed potatoes without adding milk and butter. One half cup of sugar. One half cup of butter softened. Two large eggs at room temperature. And then two teaspoons of salt, six to six and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Now the topping is going to be one-fourth cup of butter, one cup packed brown sugar, one cup honey, one teaspoon ground cinnamon, and one cup chopped walnuts. Your filling will be one half cup of sugar, two teaspoons of ground cinnamon, two tablespoons of butter melted. This takes six steps, your first step. In a small bowl, dissolve the yeast in warm water. In a large bowl, combine your mashed potatoes, sugar, butter, eggs, salt, yeast mixture, and two cups of flour. Beat on medium speed until smooth. Stir in enough of the remaining flour to form a soft dough. Now your next step. Turn the dough into a floured surface. Knead until smooth and elastic for six to eight minutes. Place in a greased bowl, turning once to grease the top. Cover and let rise in a warm place until doubled and that's about one hour. For a topping in a small saucepan, melt your butter, stir in the round sugar, honey, and cinnamon, divide the topping mixture among three greased nine inch round bacon pans, spread evenly, sprinkle with walnuts. For the filling in a small bowl, mix your sugar, cinnamon, and punch down the dough. Turn onto a lightly floured surface, divide in half, roll one, dough portion into an 18 by 12 inch rectangle. Brush with one tablespoon of melted butter to within one half inch of the edges. Sprinkle with one fourth cup mixture sugar. Roll up your jelly roll style starting with a long side. Pinch the seam to seal. Cut 12 slices. Repeat with the remaining dough, butter, and sugar mixture. Place eight slices in each pan. Cut side down. Cover with a kitchen towel. Let it rise until doubled, about 30 minutes. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Bake 30 to 35 minutes or until golden brown. Immediately invert onto serving plate and serve warm. Now one bun is 328 calories. 10 grams of fat, 5 grams saturated fat, 35 gram milligrams of cholesterol, 257 milligrams sodium, 55 gram carb, 29 grams sugar, 2 grams fiber, and 5 grams of protein. Whew! Okay. Uh, doo -doo. Hold on a second. Okay. <clears throat> I need some tea to do this one. Breaking bread with old friends. The holidays are a wonderful occasion to slow down and catch up, so we called our fi five former ag diarists to learn what they've been up to in the years since their diaries appeared and find out some of the, their favorite dishes to share at this time of year, as told to Heather Quinn. Featured in August-September of 2017 was Rachel Emmett from Grove City, Pennsylvania. Rachel's children's weighed 
play Larin, Wesley, Sawyer, and each play a role in the orchard's success. Apple Doodles. This apple doodle recipe originally started as an apple cake, but I worked it into a recipe for a cookie and have been making them this way ever since. It's a nice way to feature the fall's delicious produce. Cecilia Lorraine Ruiz from Sunnyvale, California. Okay, 10 minutes is the prep, 15 is the bake and batch, makes three and a half dozen. You need two third cup butter flavored shortening, one cup sugar, one large egg at room temperature, one teaspoon vanilla extract, two cups of all-purpose flour, two and one-fourth teaspoon of ground cinnamon, one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, one half teaspoon of salt, one cup finely chopped peeled tart apple, three-fourth cup chopped walnuts are op optional. You're going to preheat your oven to 375 degrees. In a large bowl, cream your shortening and sugar until light and fluffy. That's five to seven minutes. Beat in an egg and vanilla. Combine your flour, cinnamon, baking powder, baking soda, and salt. Gradually beat into cream mixture. Stir in the apple and, if desired, walnuts. Yes, I desire walnuts. Two, drop by tablespoons and three inch apart onto lightly greased baking sheets. Bake until golden brown, 13-15 minutes. Remove to wire racks to cool. One cookie is 72 calories, three grams of fat, one gram of saturated fat, four milligrams cholesterol, 71 grams of sodium, 10 grams carbs, five grams sugar, zero fiber, and one gram protein. And it's a great story there, and I wish I had time and a voice to share it with you, but that's one of my favorite recipes in this book. <clears throat> We're going to finish this book tonight, because I'm that determined. Dashing Through the Snow At Reindeer Games Farm in the town of Erin, Wisconsin, Cindy and Jeff Phillips bring Christmas magic to kids of all ages, with the help of some volunteer quote-unquote elves and a happy, healthy herd. It says here, What to my wondering eyes did appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer, Clement Clark Moore. We see some pictures of reindeer in various situations. And one name comment, it says top is Cindy Phillips in the front, her helper Renee Chen, who leads Prancer, Noel outside, and right is Dasher and Vixen, they look ready to help lead Santa's sleigh. Wisconsin winters often a comfortable environment for these cold weather friends who enjoy locking horns and heaping, leaping in the snow. Undomesticated reindeer can be found in the Arctic tundra as well as the adjacent Tagius, which is a boreal forest of Russia, Greenland, Scandinavia, and even North America. Happy Christmas to all and to all a good night, Clement Clark Moore. Cindy above with Holly who and her husband Jeff brought home their first reindeer comet in Cupid in 2002. Rudolph was born on the same farm two years later. And there's some great stories. I wish I had the voice to share more with you. Unfortunately, as you can tell, I'm struggling, but I'm happy to say no, 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 <laughs> no, no, that's mommy's book. Thank you. Okay, I'm happy to say we've made progress. Um, you know me, I don't like odd number videos. So does that mean we're going to do another one? You bet. Absolutely. we got to make some progress here. And i got to get these magazines done before Saturday. So it pre I've, I'm putting that pressure on myself and nobody's doing it, just me. So I will get this done as usual.